People across Maine and the nation are marching through the streets to raise awareness for the Black Lives Matter movement and have been doing so for many days now. In Bangor, more steps against violence as city officials work to protect the rights of people of color. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry tells us about one of the steps Bangor is taking tonight. On Monday night, the city of Bangor will be discussing violence against people of color in the community. It's a discussion happening on the heels of George Floyd's death in Minnesota while being arrested by police. City Councilor Angela Okafor is the first woman of color to serve on the Bangor Council. It's one positive step towards the right direction. The first step toward a more inclusive community, a discussion by city leaders on a resolution to condemn violence against people of color and to ensure all city officials uphold and advance the goals of social justice. Okafor is hopeful for change with the support of her colleagues. The protest, you know, it was very encouraging and very heartwarming that every single Bangor City Council showed up. Showed up last Monday at the Black Lives Matter event held in Bangor, organized by Racial Equity and Justice, a nonprofit in Bangor. David Patrick is one of the rally organizers. He says the Black Lives Matter movement differs from state to state. In our state, we've really tried to stay true to what that means for for Maine. Patrick says while Maine is primarily white, his organization wants to let people of color know they are welcome here. People of color don't necessarily feel like this is a place that they can remain or a place where they would necessarily be encouraging other people to come. But that can change. Change that starts with the discussion. Exactly what's on the agenda for Bangor City Councilors. In Bangor, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine.